Hello beautiful souls, welcome back to Art of Awakening. My name is Ona and this is a video that's going to just cover the energies of August 2021 and rather than doing a big Akashic inquiry about August because the Lion's Gate is in August <laughs> and I'll be doing a video and releasing that next week around the Lion's Gate energies. Uh, so for this one, I'm mostly just going to be doing a reading. I'll be using my spirit animal awareness cards. So if you're interested in purchasing a deck, the link to that is below. And just one thing I'm going to let slip around the energies of August 2021 that I received from Akashic Inquiry was they said dial up the sensitivity. So um, what I'm getting is that the the vibration of the planet is has risen enough and then with the lion's gate coming in also it's really going to accelerate or amplify the feelings of energy so if you're already sensitive to energy you may become even more so which of course has its pros and cons you may be able to much more easily connect with spirit on the other hand energies can get overwhelming we know right so so i'm being given that august for a lot of us may be sort of a grace period to help us to assimilate these kind of new frequencies and to adjust to this level of sensitivity and you know we're talking things like cause and effect becoming a lot more accelerated and so you know it may take a little bit of adjustment so just right off the bat encouragement in august if you can you know spend a little bit of time to just re relax r and r tune in ground yourself vacation time if you haven't already I'm going to draw four cards here for August 2021 and the first one is going to be horse coming up in the east and this will be like the element of air your mental body the intellectual body okay so horse coming up and talk about sensitivity a horse is a super sensitive sensitive animal really sensitive to energies a horse carries you it'll carry you over obstacles it'll carry you want where you want to go but they're they're very very sensitive so if you've ever handled horses, you know that just like really maintaining that inner, inner peace is a beautiful thing when you're working with horses. So if you can think of yourself, you can even imagine yourself riding a beautiful big horse and just feel your balance. Okay, balance is a super, super important part of dealing with horse energy. So if you can really kind of think of a rider that's perfectly balanced on their horse, they're really going to be paying a lot of attention to spinal alignment, um, to having that feeling of groundedness is going to be really central because it, it, it connects you with the animal. And in this case, the animal being your own kind of inner, <laughs> inner horse, right? Where you've got to be grounded, keep a clear head and a lot of just kind of compassion and sensitivity, gentleness, right? But gentle, but firm, right? So think in terms of you are the rider, right? You are the captain of your ship and even things that are spiritual. And this goes also for spirit beings, spirit guides. Remember, they're all facets of ourselves. They're all facets of our inner selves. And you're the consciousness, right? You are the one that really gets to direct the show. And you can think of your spirit guides as the board of directors, right? That really help you. They may know things that you don't, right? But still, you have the final say. Okay, this is the next one. It, I, Owl, of course. Owl keeps coming up a lot in the last few months. So Owl coming up in the south, this is the, the direction of spirituality and as well as fire, okay? And let me feel into owl what's owl saying here um spirit asking for clarity on owl and the energies of august 2021 um, again this word uh, i've got a lot of the keywords here on these cards this word awareness is coming up so i'm feeling like august would be a really great month to be the observer 
to practice being the observer and being aware of all the nuances that are happening, nuances of language, nuances of thought, nuances of, of spiritual energies, right? Being aware of them and being aware of how they affect you internally, how they may be affecting your external environment, right? Remember, again, if we're the CEO, we have to be very, very, very aware. And only when you're aware can you make decisions that will benefit yourself and all your stakeholders. The stakeholders is everybody in your life, right? <laughs> because everything that you do makes a difference. It, it impacts the energies of everything around you, which ultimately impacts the entire universe. So now is the month. If you are not feeling like you do make a difference or that you're powerful, get rid of those thoughts because you're infinitely powerful, okay? And, and even the slightest little actions that you do affects the whole, okay? And OWL helps us to realize that. It's kind of like the secret knowledge, right? <laughs> this wisdom. OWL's this, this totem of intuition, helping to see in the dark. Ask for help from your spirit team to see your blind spots, okay? Because we all have them and the the blind spots are you know the lessons that are lying in wait for us right <laughs> um and it's not bad it's just like but if you can ask proactively help me see what i'm not seeing it can really help you to more smoothly move through um you know the journey okay so well i shuffle here for the third card i just want to invite you to join me on patreon it's a way to support the channel if you've been enjoying these videos. You, you can also join with some like-minded souls because at the, the Wolfpack level, I actually meet with my Patreon supporters weekly. We get together for sacred painting, sometimes meditations. It's, it's actually pretty cool. So hope to see you there. All right, so this one is coming up for the West, and this is the direction of the emotional body as well as water. And this is, I love this coming up here because Dove is all about peace, right? And I think this, this works really, really well, especially with the horse and finding that balance. When you have something that's gonna trigger your emotions, if you can step back, become the observer and recognize that you do have a choice in terms of how you react to that, it results in this amazing sense of inner peace because even if everything around you is out of control you can control within you can control within and you know sometimes it can be really really hard and of course we think oh, i can't control it but think about this if you ever have that thought come up i can't help this that's a story okay i can't help it i just reacted that's a story and that's your ego wanting to take you on a little tailspin i i just couldn't help myself right well that's the work that's the work is learning to help ourselves <laughs> so this is not to condemn ourselves right it's just to recognize that the inner peace is possible okay it's not only possible that's your nat natural state of being okay so if you're not experiencing inner peace don't be beating up on yourself because that only that only exaggerates that feeling of chaos or or you know whatever negative emotion that you're feeling. Go back to observer, recognize, oh, well, all that sense of chaos that's just showing me where I may not be quite balanced, right? And then bring it back. You do have a choice. And let's see, fourth card is going to be for the direction of north. This is the direction of earth as well as the physical body. So, let's see which animal wants to pop up. Oh, I love it, it is B. Okay, and so I love this because <laughs> she's a master builder and it's a collective work. So I'm feeling like the energies of August are going to be setting into motion a collective work that is going to benefit, bring sweetness to all of humanity and all of Earth, and also in a very physical way. 
so this is probably a good month to just really get literally into action on your guidance. So if you've been thinking about making changes to your physical health, as well as if you've been thinking about maybe moving your location or starting a business or starting a new practice, anything that can be physically initiated, this might be a really, really good month to do it, right? And if there's something that's been sort of telling you, niggling at your mind for, for a while that this is a direction I really feel like I want to go to. This might be the, just the month to do it. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed. Have a wonderful, wonderful August, and we will catch you again next week with the Lionsgate video.